Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by ComputerLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're going to talk about a game changer when it comes to chat GPT and AI in general. They released a new feature called Canvas, and it's fantastic for editing documents, writing code, and all that stuff. So if you write a lot of code, and this goes out to my Microsoft Access fans as well, because I know we do a lot of VBA programming, you'll want to watch this video. If you've used chat GPT in the past, and I know I've done a bunch of videos on how to use it to do this, uh, to help you write your code. One of the pains that I have, and, and I hate it, is when you, when you get a nice long function going and you wanna make a couple changes, ChatGPT has to respout out all of the code again. Well, with Canvas, you can edit stuff in place. And you can just say, okay, tweak this, tweak that. I'm gonna walk you through it and show you how it works. But it will make your life tremendously easier for writing code and for editing documents in general. I use ChatGPT a lot to help me rephrase letters if I wanna make something sound more polite or a little more customer service-y or a little angrier if I'm writing a mean letter, you know. Um, so it helps with that too. We're gonna to go through two examples. Now I am gonna say that this is only for the paid version of ChatGPT. So if you're not willing to pay the $20 a month for ChatGPT Plus or Pro or whatever they call it, then this isn't going to work for you. Right now, it's only available for paid members. I don't know if they're going to release it for the free users or not. And I'm not, I'm not talking about my paid members. This video that you're watching is free for everybody. But you have to have the paid version of ChatGPT for this to work. As of today, they might change it in the future. I don't know. But let's take a look at a couple of examples. All right, so here I am in ChatGPT. And you'll notice there's a new model here now. It says ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas, and it's currently in beta. But if you're a paid subscriber, you should have this right now. All right, so let's start off by writing a letter to my mom. It's, uh, it's her birthday soon, and I want to just write her a nice little birthday letter. So let's start off by saying it's my mom's birthday soon. Let's write her a happy birthday letter. Make it warm and fuzzy. And it will write a letter for you. There you go. Now, if you've used ChatGPT in the past for either documents or writing code, you know that if I wanna make changes now, it's gonna to have to respout out all of that stuff, okay? But the benefit of using Canvas is that it doesn't have to do that. You can just edit it in place. So I'm gonna say, put that in a Canvas, please. And I'm always polite to the AI because one of these days they're gonna be running things like the Terminator, right? All right, so it'll put that in a canvas. Look at that, it puts it in a new window and the interface changes. Okay, now over here on the left, this is your dialogue with GPT and this is your canvas. Okay, so let's make some changes. Let's say, let's start by saying, okay, change dear mom to dear mama. Dead, not dead, dear, <laughs> dear mama. Right, and it'll go over there and make the change, see? And it just edits what you wanted to edit. Another thing, I hate these M dashes. The AI loves to use M dashes. I never use them. So uh, remove the M dashes and rewrite as complete sentences. No one uses those in regular correspondence, right? And it should go through now and rewrite. And that, look at that, it fixed it. It removed all the M dashes. I hate those. Or semicolons. Who uses semicolons in regular correspondence, right? If you're writing a professional book or something, yeah, they're necessary, but no. Let's, uh, let's remove a paragraph. Remove the paragraph. Para I can't spell today, paragraph. That's a good thing about ChatGPT also is you don't have to be a great speller. It'll fix the spelling for you. That starts with, I hope, today. Let's just remove that paragraph. And there it goes, and it got rid of it. Say that. And then we'll say, put my name on the bottom. Richard. There we go. Right now, you can also come over here and make edits manually yourself if you want to come in here and change this to an exclamation point, right? Or uh, you know, like that. You can you can you know come in here and make this a new paragraph, like uh, right here. Enter, and it's just like a you know regular word processor. And when you're done, hit copy, bring it over to your email program or Word or wherever you want to do it, and there you go. That's your you know. See how much easier that is to just tell it, okay, do this, do that, right? All right, let's do another example with code. I'm gonna close this one. Okay, and it brings you right back to the normal interface that you're probably used to. All right, let's start a new one. I'll click on ChatGPT up here. 
I'm in chat GPT 4 with Canvas. And now we're going to say, I'm going to use my voice dictation for this. I'm writing a function for Microsoft Access VBA. Please help me write a function that takes two long integers and adds them together. Right, simple enough. Okay, and go. Here's a simple function, blah, 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 blah. Come on. Come on, still thinking. Okay. All right, there we go. I'm going to use this function. All right, perfect. Now let's put it in a canvas. Put the function in a canvas, please. Okay, there we go. All right, let's make some changes. Let's uh, change the name of the function to add to num. There you go. Do that. Uh, change the variables to n1 and n2. And this is just a simple example, but you can see it's, it's rewriting the code as I'm asking it, right? Add error handling. This is pretty cool. Watch this. Look at that. It puts error handling in your function for you. Uh -huh. Ain't that cool? And this is just a simple little one. I've done it with some pretty long functions before, and it, it makes, you know, it, it makes your job a whole lot easier. And you don't have to sit here and wait for it to churn through all that code and rewrite it and rewrite it and rewrite it and rewrite it. Let's do another one. Let's do one more. Let's make a dice roller. I want to make a dice rolling function for Microsoft Access VBA. I want the function to take in two variables. One will be the number of dice rolls. And the second variable will be what type of die you're rolling. It could be a four-sided, six-sided, 20-sided, 100-sided die, whatever. And then I want it to message box the result of the random dice rolls. Oh, look at that. It decided to automatically put it in a canvas for you. Sometimes it'll do that, too. Let's see if it makes sense. Num rolls, die side, da, 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 dice rolls results. One to num rolls, int random. I don't see that it added randomizer. See, this is the thing with ChatGPT. It's, it's not perfect as far as code writing goes. But it can definitely get you started or it can, it's, it's really good at taking existing code and making manipulation to it. I use that for that all the time. You can paste your code in there and then say, hey, make these changes to it. Uh, let's say, I'm going to tell it though, you forgot to randomize. That's important. And ah, there, see, see the random number generator. There you go. I cover this in several of my lessons, by the way. All right, so that's it. Nice, short, and simple one today. Um, I just, I, when they rolled this new feature out, I loved it immediately, and I just wanted to share it with everybody. Because if you use ChatGPT as much as I do, for just simple tasks, I use it mostly for writing emails and things like that, where I can just say, you know, here's, here's the email I received from so-and-so. I want to respond to it and cover these three points. And it will just phrase it all nice and pretty for me. It saves a lot of time. Uh, but it, it's great for writing code, too, so... I hope you found this useful. If you like stuff like this, if you want to see me cover more ChatGPT and OpenAI stuff, post a comment down below. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. And um, the more people that are interested, the more I'll do it. Um, so, and if you have not yet paid for the, the $20 a month version, it's this alone, this feature alone is well worth it, <laughs> the investment. So, and I'm not getting paid by them to say this. This is just my personal opinion. I use it all the time. Uh, but that's it. That's going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon so you get notified anytime I release a new video. And make sure you like and share this video with your friends. And make sure you stop by my website for lots of free lessons on all kinds of different topics, Microsoft Access, Excel, Word, Windows, and lots more. It's computerlearningzone.com, and I've also got a shorter URL. It's 599cd.com. That's a long story, but stop by anyways. We hope to see you soon.